Today, I'm gonna to go over some last minute holiday gift ideas for the runner in your life. Ten point zero five miles, eight minutes, fifty seven seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty eight beats per minute for today's run. Running basically uh, directly from home, doing about my ten mile loop, and then heading right to the rental car place to pick up a car that drove us now back to my in laws' house. Not for the holidays, like completely, uh, but we're coming back the week before we're coming back for the holidays because this is the weekend my, my mother-in-law is gonna be doing a bunch of Christmas baking. She had a lot of the grandkids over to help her out with that. So a lot of other years we haven't been able to participate either because of scheduling, work schedules, or the weather. This year we could, so uh, we're very happy to be back here this weekend. And what a great time to talk about some holiday gift ideas because definitely in that holiday Christmas spirit here. Now, the first thing that I want to say is that this holiday gift guide is definitely a little bit late because the first three options that I'm gonna suggest for you guys, we might even be already too late. Uh, so the first three things I'm gonna suggest are buying merch from other YouTubers. So if the runner in your life is watching YouTube or running content online, they're probably watching either Seth James and more and or Ginger Runner and or Jamie, or probably all three of those guys. Those guys have some really great merch they've been putting out this year. SJD's put out some great t-shirts that has his logo right on the front. Jamie's got his elite jogger shirts and Ginger Runner has a whole bunch of different things. Uh, I just ordered one of the buffs that was a fundraiser for Gus. He just has a beautiful eye for design. I'm really looking forward to getting that. I ordered mine last Wednesday or Tuesday, something along those lines. Still haven't gotten them yet. It's now Saturday uh, at the timing of this, filming of this video. So still, I probably wouldn't expect it for at least another week, but that's gonna put us pretty close to the holiday. So. Uh, if you're watching this now and you think you want to order those kinds of things for the runner in your life, go check them out first and see if we've already missed uh, like a shipping deadline. For example, I know that Hoka Oneone put out a tweet last night saying they're coming up on their shipping deadline for uh, the 25th. I think it was yesterday or today, so hurry up and get your orders in. The same thing is gonna happen with a lot of this merch. If that's something that you want, go ahead and get that order in right now. I'll post links in the description so you can find all that stuff. Now the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna, I tried to do a couple of things with the rest of the stuff on this list. So the rest of the stuff, and then my, my list is over here on my phone. The way that I've broken it up, I've broken it up into a couple of different price categories, like around 20-ish bucks, and then around 50-ish bucks around a little bit more than 100, and then if you really love that runner in your life, a little like in the $200 price range. And I also picked stuff that is not really requiring for you to know a size. So in case you're worried that you might insult or offend someone, if you pick the wrong size, or you just don't wanna deal with sizes, I picked stuff that's all doesn't have really a size to it, or if it does, it's relatively straightforward in terms of the sizing that are options that are out there. Uh, the other thing about the rest of this list is nothing else that's on the rest of this list is something that is sponsored, sent to me, or paid to get into this list at all. It's all stuff that I've tried, purchased with my own money, tried out on my own because I was interested in it, and it's stuff that I like, stuff that I think runners are really gonna like. So here's the rest of that list. In kind of like that cheapest price range. I already mentioned buffs. So those are neck things, really useful this time of year. Uh, also useful in warmer times of year, depending on where you're running. But for me, I run on roads. Uh, I run in an urban setting for the most part. And I use them to cover my face during the colder winter months. I absolutely love the Buff brand. They make ones that are just like a regular material and also a merino wool material, which is a little bit warmer, uh, a little bit more expensive, but a couple, lots of different color and design options, around 17 bucks. Uh, all the stuff that I, I think most of the stuff that I have here, I have uh, Amazon affiliate links. I think we all know how affiliate links work. Uh, doesn't increase the cost to you, but I might get a kickback if you uh, purchase through my links. 
But the main reason that I wanted to stick with Amazon links where I could is again, because this list is coming out pretty late. I wanna make sure that stuff that is like prime shipping available so you can make sure that you get that stuff on time. So Boff is definitely a good option. Another great option is Gooder sunglasses. I don't have an Amazon affiliate link for that, uh, but those are sunglasses that I like to run in. I like to run in them more in the winter time than I do in the summertime. I think my eyes are a little bit dulled and they're not that sensitive to bright lights but they are sensitive to cold. And in the wintertime, having that layer of sunglasses on just kind of protects me from the wind a little bit. Also with the sun tending to be lower on the horizon and the times that I'm running in the wintertime, usually that light is like right in my eyes or reflecting off of ice can be very bright. So having running sunglasses is really great. Those are about, I think they're normally 25. Something else is uh, flip belts. Now flip belts are something that I've talked about early this summer uh, when I made a video about how to run with a phone. And basically this is a piece of cloth that you wear around your waist, you kind of step into it, and it has these little pockets that you can put gels, phones, keys, key cards, uh, lots of different stuff in it. I didn't like it for the summer because I felt like it was really hot. I predicted that I would really like it in the winter and I've been loving it for the winter uh, for running. If I'm not run commuting, if I'm on a longer run and I need to bring a phone and keys or water or gels, I'll usually bring the flip belt and I've been really enjoying it. That is about uh, $25. What I've also really been enjoying with it too is there's a flip belt designed water bottle. It's designed to fit in one of those pockets, slide right in, and it has a curvature to it. So that way when you're running with it, it's against the small of your back and it fits in there real nice. Doesn't bounce around all that much at all. Holds a little bit more than 10 ounces, which I think is the perfect amount of liquid that I might need for even my longest runs. The day after the running footage you saw, I was running around here in Iowa. I went on a three hour, like 20 minute run, over 20 miles. I brought two gels and this uh, with some um, Unimed Elite uh, drink mix in it. Uh, and that's all I had. And I had extra liquid left over. So this is like just the right amount of weight and liquid to carry for the winter months. So I've been really enjoying this. I picked this up at uh, like a race expo at one point. A lot of times the vendors will just have stuff they're trying to clearance and get rid of. I got this for like six or seven bucks. I think the retail price is about $10 on Amazon. Seems like kind of a lot, but it's a very specifically designed water bottle that goes with the flip belt. So if you have someone that you wanna add a little bit more than just the flip belt, make it a little bit more of a substantial gift, add the water bottle. It's a nice way to kind of like make that gift a little bit nicer. And it's a really great combo for winter running in particular. Next, I want to talk about, speaking of like gels and sport drinks, I want to talk about some of my favorite hydration and nutrition. Uh, Noon is one that I've been using a lot, both in the summer and in the winter. They're these little tablets you dissolve in a bunch of water. The flavors are nice. There's usually caffeine in them. Um, there are sampler packs that I think are really make really nice gifts for this time of year for people that either love Noon or have never tried Noon and are looking for another kind of running type of gift to try. The sample packs of like the caffeine, there's like four tubes of like the caffeinated versions, four different flavors, uh, 22 bucks on Amazon. I think it's a pretty good price. You can find them at Whole Foods usually as well, or running stores, anywhere in between the five to, or $6 per like canister. And usually they have like 10 tablets per canister. So uh, 22 bucks for four is a pretty good price. The other uh, gel that I really enjoy is Spring Energy. Now Spring Energy is a little bit more expensive, which is why I think it might make a really nice gift. Uh, it's something that the runner in your life has probably seen, probably been curious about if they don't already know it and love it. For me, I feel like the Spring Energy gels are all, like the best replacement for actual food. I wouldn't ever wanna run with like fruit, or, like a banana in my like running pack or put it in my flip belt but I very much enjoy having spring energy gel as basically like pureed food almost uh, that's also designed to replenish you and nourish you as you're going on a run. So a spring energy like sampler pack, I think would be a wonderful gift, 27 bucks on Amazon. The next thing that I'll talk about in that same vein is the Huma Chia Plus. Those are my absolute favorite gels. They've got a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of chia. They've got a really great taste. It feels like you're eating real food, like the spring energy. It's kind of like a food puree. Huma's a little bit thinner. So if someone has a problem with the texture, they might prefer the Huma Chia Plus. I really like those. A sampler pack of the Huma Chia Plus is 30 bucks on Amazon, another great gift. The next thing I'll talk about is a Nathan headlamp. 
That one runs on two AA batteries, which is nice if you're gonna be using it for long periods of time. You can just pop in new batteries and go. I also have one that I'll post a link to uh, that is rechargeable by micro USB, which I also think is useful because then you don't have to buy new batteries and it's lighter than the Nathan one with the batteries in it because you're not putting batteries in it. So I'll post links to both. Headlamps are always really useful, especially in the wintertime because there's just not as much sunlight. You wanna make sure you can see where you're running. Now that pushes me into like the next category, like around the $50 price range. And one of the things that I absolutely love for winter running are these running mitten from Kraft. Kraft makes winter, I think they make summer running gear too, but they specialize in winter running gear and winter cycling gear. I think they like also like make stuff for like cross country skiing, but these mittens are absolutely fantastic. They seem really small, but they've got this padded area up here, which blocks a lot of the wind also keeps the heat in the mitten. Uh, mittens keep you warmer than gloves do. Uh, also, there's still enough room in here for me to put in a hand warmer. And this area is still like usable enough that I can hit the lap timer on my watch without taking um, my hands out of the mitten. So very useful. I've been loving these mittens. I've been running in them like just about every day, about 45 bucks. Careful on Amazon. I think they're running out of sizes. So you might have to go to the craft website itself. Uh, in order to get the size that's right. The next thing in the $50 price range is Martin. It's another gel. It's a little bit more expensive, but if your runner has been uh, in any way involved in marathoning or half marathoning, they've heard of Martin gels. They're very expensive. So they might not have bought them for themselves. This makes a perfect gift. Uh, you get a box of 10 of them for about 50 bucks. And those are the ones that like all the elite marathoners are using. The regular ones I think are in the 40s in terms of the price for a box of them. The CAF 100s, you know, the Martin gels, but with a bunch of caffeine in it, those are a little bit more expensive. Those are 50 bucks. And so that's something that uh, either one of those will make a really nice gift. All right, what else do we got here? So now we're gonna bump up a little bit higher to kind of the $100 price range. The next thing comes in at 80 bucks, which is the Polar OH1 Plus heart rate monitor. It's different than other heart rate monitors because it doesn't go on your chest. It actually, it's an optical sensor that goes on the forearm. And I've been running with this for the past almost two weeks now, I think. And I just absolutely love this device. It's small, it gets out of my way. It gives me really good readings, feel really good about the data that I'm getting from it. Uh, so I've been really enjoying running with that, especially in the winter time where the chest strap can be a little bit problematic to run with and have to give me some kind of technical issues. So I've been really enjoying that uh, heart rate monitor. If you have a runner who's been thinking about training by heart rate or just loves data and they don't have a heart rate monitor yet, get them one of these, it's 80 bucks. Uh, seems a little bit expensive for what you're getting, but uh, I have been absolutely loving training with this device as well. There are heart rate monitors built into the running watches, pretty much all running watches, but for runners, after a while, the, data, the, the sensor and where it is, the location of it, there's something about it that just doesn't give you good data. So you need an external separate heart rate monitor, either a chest strap or the Polar OH1, which can go either on the forearm or even up higher on the bicep. You can even swim with it. So if you have a triathlete in your life, that's something that they could use there as well. Then the next thing that I'll put, to, I'll put two more things on in this kind of $100 price range. The next is one of my favorite earbuds ever for running, which is the Jabra Elite 65T. Now the Jabra is now on the 75T. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. It's like 180 something bucks, a really fantastic pair of earbuds, probably my favorite earbuds of 2019. The 65T came out in 2018, but it's significantly discounted. Over Black Friday, you could find them for about 100 bucks. The last time I looked, I could find it for about 110. The only thing I don't like about those earbuds is when it's really sweaty, and I kind of sweat a lot, they will kind of start getting loose. If not, one of them might fall out. So that's a limitation. In the wintertime for me, not a problem at all. Uh, when I'm on the treadmill, it might be a problem, or when it's like a super hard workout in the summer, that's when I might have a problem, but they have pass-through audio, so they use the microphones on the earbuds to give you the sound that's around you so you can hear what's around you really well, and the audio quality is just superb. Uh, much better audio quality than you would think that you can get from something that small. I absolutely love those earbuds, so about 100, 110 bucks, a great gift idea for the runner in your life. 
The other thing that I'll say, if you add just a little bit more money to that, you got $117 is what I've been able to find on Amazon, is the Vivo Active 3. Now they're on the Vivo Active 4 now, but the Vivo Active 3 was the first GPS smartwatch that I ever had, and it's still one of my favorites. It pretty much does everything that you need it to do uh, if you want a watch that's gonna be good at tracking your activities, but also that's gonna have some smart functions to it. This is a really great option, and right now you can get it for 117 bucks. A really great gift for that amount of money. You're getting a tremendous amount of value. That is the watch that I compare kind of all new watches that are released to, because if I can get the Vivo Active 3 for in the 100 to $120 range, then like what else am I getting for a $200 or $300 or a $500 smartwatch? GPS watch, that's kind of the, it's the barometer that I use to compare against all other watches in terms of value. So a really great watch, even today, even though it's now like almost two years old. Now, we're gonna start getting into some, a little higher end gifts, something that is gonna be a little bit more special, a little bit more expensive. One of those is the Jabra Elite 75T that I mentioned. One of, I think, the best earbud that came out in 2019 for runners. There's also the Powerbeats Pro, which is even more, that's 250. So these are two high-end running earbuds. Both are fantastic for running. If you've got a Profuse sweater in your life, then get the Powerbeats Pro because they've got ear hooks. So it'll stay on no matter how sweaty they are. If they're just like a regular sweater or even a heavy sweater like I am, the Jabra Elite 75T I think just sounds the best and gives you the best bang for your buck as well at this price range. So I think it's an absolutely fantastic set of earbuds. I've been loving running with both of those, but especially the 75T, and that one is 180 bucks. The other thing in this higher end price range that I would recommend as a great gift for runners, something that they might not buy for themselves, is to get a Stride. There's a new version that can also do the, all the same things that the old one did. Give you pace, distance data, it can give you cadence information, uh, all sorts of metrics about your foot stride, but it also now can take the wind into account in terms of determining how hard you're working or how much uh, power you're putting out at the ground in terms of your foot strike. And so uh, some new functionality into that one. It's $220. It seems like a lot, and I don't train with power right now. I don't use that power number all that much, but I run in an urban setting and where with the skyscrapers and everything like that, GPS just isn't reliable to give me pace and distance information. So I run with the Stride Flip Pod every day. Every shoe video that I've made over the last, since I've got the Stride Foot Pod has had the Foot Pod in it. I think of all the running that I've done, I can think there's maybe like five times where I've not had the stride foot pod on and it's because i forgot it and i always get really frustrated when i do because i love the like the dead accuracy of it even if you're doing a lot of treadmill running it's something that i still like to have as well because treadmills can be really inaccurate in terms of the pace and distance data that they're giving you in terms of how fast you're going so i like having no matter what treadmill i'm on i always have that stride foot pod to tell me that this is how hard i worked on that particular workout so i love that device uh, and at 220 bucks, still feels really expensive, but would make a really fantastic gift. So uh, two other things that I'll talk about at the end that are not necessarily things that you buy, um, not something that you can wrap and put a bow on, and those are subscriptions or memberships. I listen to a lot of podcasts, music, and audiobooks because when you're out there running, if you're listening to stuff, uh, you just go through, you're just consuming content all the time. I run for about like 12, 13 hours a week. So that's a lot of time that I could be listening to content, getting through audiobooks, getting through podcasts. There's only so much like free stuff that I can consume. There's only so much kind of like music that I want to listen to after a while. Sometimes it's nice to just listen to a really compelling narrative. So I've been loving audible.com uh, and reading a lot of audiobooks that way. The only thing is I just wish there were more audiobooks that were on the platform. There's some, I, th I just wish that there was a little bit more robust. The other thing that I don't like about audiobooks, generally and it's something to do with audible.com, is that I really wish that audiobooks, like in the running genre, were read by the author, right? Sometimes they're not, and I just feel like that's really, really weird. Um, but in any event, I've been really enjoying audible.com. I've also been listening to the Harry Potter series with my daughter, because we're reading that. Sometimes when we're driving, 
uh, like when we come back to uh, my in-laws house, we like to have that on so we can listen to those stories as we're going on a long car trip. So it can be useful in a lot of different ways. Uh, Audible.com memberships or like gifts can be given in the ranges of 15 to $150. Uh, so lots of different pricing options available for you there. The only downside is you don't get to like give something to someone. And I know that's important. So that's, that's what makes it like gift cards hard, right? So those are my last minute holiday gift ideas for the runner in your life. Uh, hopefully you find something in the price range that you're comfortable with and that you were looking for. If you have any other questions about other stuff, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys more about it down there. Now, before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the cherry runner for this week. This week it was Oscar Lazarki who ran the perpetual motion six hour race running for six hours so that you can raise money to buy toys for kids at Christmas. Uh, I was very happy to donate $70 to Oscar's fundraising efforts. And I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?